everybody out there on Wiper Street. You already know what it is. Salute everybody. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Steve Boosa GS. We got another scorecard reaction for you guys, and you already know what it is. Let's get it, man. My guy P. O went and dropped the track called Best Rapper Alive. You knew! You knew I was going to have something to say about this. My man went on an hour-long interview with me telling me about how when he says he's the best rapper alive, greatest rapper alive, etc., 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 what he meant by it, right? So I'm giving you all a unique perspective and view with this. And when he says it and what he quotes in his interview is basically like, when I say that, I'm talking about to me, to myself. I compete with myself, the best version that I could possibly be. And, like, I respected that. And, like, I, I was ready to come in and, like, my... My opinion, whenever anyone says that, is always to dissect it and see what their intent is. Like, you say you're the best rapper alive. Does that mean you have the best punchlines, the best metaphors, the best flows, the most versatility, sell the most records? Does that mean you're the most listened to? Like, what does that mean, right? I'm very curious to see which direction he takes this. I wonder if this is going to be braggadocious, if this is going to be him just like talking his shit. I wonder if this is going to be him breaking down that same philosophy that he did on the interview, if this is going to be contradictory to it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm ready to hop into it. I, I don't even... I, <laughs> I want to think that he's going to stay true to what he said as like the artist, as the man. But the rapper side is strong, man. When you get in that booth and you start writing, you start talking his shit, he might be on some, yo, fuck everyone, I'm the greatest shit. And I'm here for I'm here for it, man. I want to see where he's going with this. Do me a favor. If you want to support the channel, you want to see growth, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, the little bell notification guy. Uh, if you want to truly support, the best way to do so is by joining the Patreon down in the description below. There is a lot of Patreon content coming. Um, other than that, we're ready to hop into this. Down in the comments below, who do you think is the greatest rapper alive? Beginning and end. For me, it's Joe Budden. I'll tell you that right now. All right. I think I think P. Dot got him in his uh, at least top five. I think maybe top ten. I don't know. I don't want to put words in his mouth. I know he's an avid fan like I am as well. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't want to. I don't want to place him on his list just yet because I don't, I'm not sure where he falls. Uh, let's get into this, man. Let's get into this. Let's go. Best rapper alive. Talk your shit, King. The best rapper alive, the best rapper alive, the best rapper alive, yeah. the best rapper alive, the best rapper alive, the best rapper alive, it's me, the best rapper alive, the best rapper alive. You know what would have been great? He, he dropped the ball on us already, I can tell you that right now. It would have been so great if he dropped best rapper alive as a track and it was a mumble rap track. <laughs> That would have been the best troll ever. <laughs> rapper alive, the best rapper alive. Yeah. The best rapper alive. Uh, the okay. best rapper yeah. alive. Oh, uh, I am Jesus Christ. No blaspheme, pluck the Christmas lights I bleed on mics, you hype, I'm a beast, I'm ice Hard froze, if you hate your nigga, eat these nuts up puff past, let the blunt speak Cushion the rhymes deep, quiet stone mob deep Chill, 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 you don't rap like this <laughs> Let's go my guy, peep the rhyme schemes So like, what we've heard from him so far In the discography, in his rap style In his, uh, how do I want to word this, right? Like, if you were to talk about like his normal music theory uh, and I, I talked about this in the interview, too. I'm plugging the interview a lot. Go check the fucking interview out. Um, he talks about how, like, his focus is more on the message. He's not worried about rhyming specifically and perfectly every single line, etc., etc. Listen to the intricacy of the rhyme scheme that he's using on this. Like, I think I might have struck a nerve during that interview. He started getting his pen game up. This is dope. Let's get it. All right, come on. Rapper alive, the best rapper alive is me. The best rapper alive. The best rapper alive, the best rapper alive, yeah. The best rapper yeah. alive, the okay. best rapper yeah. alive. Oh, I am Jesus Christ. No blaspheme, pluck the Christmas lights. I bleed on mics, you hype, I'm a beast, I'm ice. Hard froze, if you hate your nigga, eat these nuts up, puff pass, let the blunt speak. Cushion the rhymes deep, quiet storm, mob deep, we mob deep in 9-6, so... All right, you know what? I spoke too soon. He is staying true to his style. If you actually listen to the bars and where the bars end, he is not rhyming on the actual last syllable of the lines. The eat my nuts was the end of that bar scheme. 
He's he's actually he's stayed true and kept his style, but all of the the mid rhymes, right? All of the intersecting lines that are leading up to it, all the stuff that some rappers would have as like filler, all of that seems super polished up. That's where his rhyme skits. That's what he's changed the intricacies. That's really interesting. I feel like you have to really listen to an artist to be able to pick up on stuff like that. So I'm, I'm glad I can give that to y'all. But listen again. Listen again. We're going to do it one more time. Uh, I don't want to mute him. Uh, okay. Best rapper alive. Yeah. Oh, I am Jesus Christ. No blaspheme, plug the Christmas lights I bleed on mics. You hype, I'm a beast, I'm ice. Hard froze if you hate your nigga, eat these nuts up. So nuts. Nuts is where the last part of that rhyme scheme should have been. And it should have rhymed with ice. Should have rhymed with that whole line scheme. And then it does it again right afterwards. Watch how he's watch how he goes into the second line. Pass, let the blunt speak. Cushion the rhymes deep. Quiet stone mob deep. We mob deep in nine six. <laughs> six is where the end of that bar should have been with that same rhyme scheme. And he kept true to form. He kept true to form. I'm not gonna keep doing this to every single line. Um, I want to point it out now, right in the beginning, and then we're going to let it rock for a little bit, though. But as far as being able to break down the bars and, and like, artist intense and true to form, like, yo, that's fucking dope. I see you, my guy. I see what you're doing. I pay attention. Let's get it. Christmas lights, I bleed on mics. You hype, I'm a beast, I'm ice. Hard froze if you hate your nigga. Eat these nuts up, puff pass, let the blunt speak. Cushion the rhymes deep. Quiet storm, mob deep. We mob deep in 9 6. So hungry, retard, he's so dummy. We spark, we go gully till we park the voice properly. Back in shape, Ali going to Africa. Steve Irwin, I am my peace before I tackle her. Immaculate, thought provoking, I keep it passionate. I pack a punch fatter than Big Pun with a pack of lunch. Make a mistake, this is rap entertainment. Quarantine couples, hope you got someone to stay with. The best, no question, wordplay doing gymnastics. Virgin active, Charles Branson, I'm a savage. Charles Manson, maybe Jackson with the pen, bitch. Every clap to make them clap the way I spring steam. Whoops, I mean spring stream. Yellow fly bee sting. I beat. Yo! <laughs> Let's fucking go! The beat up Tyson, the way to right swing flow. Nah, fucking bring this back, yo. He's demolishing this. This, from a lyrical, from a biased lyrical standpoint, this is the best that I've seen him yet. Not from an emotional standpoint, not from like. Um, a like track with meaning or a message standpoint none of that right I'm strictly talking about from like an English teacher music theory lyricist standpoint this is the sharpest I've seen his pen so far we're played doing gymnastics virgin active Charles Branson I'm a savage Charles Manson maybe Jackson with the pen bitch every clap to make them clap the way I spring steam whoops I mean spring string yellow fly bee sting I beat the beat up Tyson the way to right swing flow tornado turtle shell call April terminate the opposition I'm hotter than Turks and Caicos yeah the best rapper alive is me and second best is only nigga disguises me Aha! the best rapper alive the best rapper alive, the best rapper alive, the best rapper alive. I told you, once <laughs> you get in the booth, that rapper shit would have come out, man. He is, he's on his braggadocia shit, he's on his talking shit stuff. I wasn't sure if he was going to go with the conscious, like, yo, this is just me talking to me, like, competing with myself, type stuff. Nah, nah, he said, fuck all y'all. <laughs> The best rapper alive, the best rapper alive, it's me. The best rapper alive, the best rapper alive, the best rapper alive, the best rapper alive, the best rapper alive. Look, I'm in the studio, what's up? Gin and juice in a cup, motherfucker, I am him. This is legendary stuff, Bob Dylan with the pen. You can tell I'm in the zone, feel like back in 08. A nigga coming for the throne, a nigga coming for the throne. Is you hating? Let me know. Escape route through the flow, I'm something else. Don't let me pose cognizant of the fact that I excel at next level. Copper watch with fresh bezel, so I stunt and flex better. Matter of fact, I think never. I'm just blessed to trendsetter. Devil in the dress better. Move the fuck away from me before I levitate to heaven. Yes, Lord, this shit is easy, believe me. We only scratching the surface. The only rapper with purpose. The population is nervous. I'm jumping over these hurdles. <laughs> Deliver scripture and service. Yes, Lord. The best rapper alive is me. The second best a nigga only disguises me. Oh, the best rapper alive. <laughs> the best rapper alive. The best rapper alive. Yeah. The best rapper alive. Uh, the best rapper alive. The best rapper alive is me. The best rapper alive. The best rapper alive, the best rapper alive, yeah. 
The best rapper alive. The best rapper alive. The best rapper alive. Hold it. He's yelling behind us. Cash is like, wait, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, Cash. I'm the greatest man to ever live. Now, I don't have a mark on my face. Yeah. And I'm upset, son, and listen. And I just turned 22 years old. I must be the greatest. Now, I told the world. I talk to God every day. And God put me came on out of your Yes, Miss Honey. I come back to the world. Now. Me personally and my bias, I've talked about this on my channel a lot. I hate when rappers do this. I hate when you put the sample like this that's elongated in the middle. I get what it's for. For me, instantly takes it off the playlist. Uh, up until now, I was going to say this reminds me a lot of when uh, when Cassidy came out with I'm a Hustler. This reminds me of the jaunt that you play with the windows down while you in the hood, right? This is where you get off You get off the E-way, right? You get off the E-way, you about four blocks from your house, that's when you roll the windows down, <laughs> you put the speakers on some motherfuckers, can hear you playing it. That's what this reminds me of. Um, which it still does. That's still the vibes that I get. Um, but this would be a purposeful play now. Like, the, the the elongated sample for me makes it a purposeful play instead of a playlist uh, track. That's just that's just for me. Um, maybe you feel the same way. Maybe you don't. Uh, I like it, obviously. The theme, thematically, the being the greatest of all time, greatest rapper alive, Ali. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything is there. It matches up. Let's go. God, I'm Cassius. the real guy. Cassius, wait a minute, wait a minute, Cassius. Yes. Let me ask you this now. You told me when you visited Los Angeles you could do it in eight. Well, you thought Sonny and figured Sonny was great. How I come you did it in six or seven? You did it in seven. I had him going in eight. I was getting ready to take him in the eighth, as you can see. But the man stopped it just to keep from making me look so great. I say, now, give us that poetry on number seven. He wanted to go to heaven, so I took him in seven. You took him in seven. I am the king of the world. Hold it, hold it, hold I'm it. I'm pretty. Hold it, you're not that pretty. I'm a bad man. Wait, wait, wait. I took up the world. I took up the world. Hold it, hold it. I took up the world. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You must listen to me. Now listen. I am the double. All right, hold it. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I must tell you that. Hey, B.B. Joe. Wait, hold it. Hold it. They're going to chance, but I don't think so. All right, tell us this. All right, Cash. Thank you. Thank you, Cash is playing the heavyweight champion. Let's get our champion, Joe Lewis, over here as the camera follows Cash's play. Joe. I got faked out. I thought I was getting a third verse. I got faked out. I feel I feel betrayed a little bit. I feel hurt. This disappointed maybe even, right? I feel like uh, I feel like this was a personal attack to me as a lover of of th the third verse, the the lost art of the third verse. I feel like I feel like this was purposely bamboozled. <laughs> now this shit was dope, yo. Um, the only thing that I will say, the last thing on the, the sample, when you start looking at the composition of an album. I am okay with this type of an outro on a song as the last song on an album. That's the last thing I'll say. If this is how you're ending the album, best rapper alive or ending the project, the EP, the whatever, right? Best rapper alive. You let the 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 the, the Muhammad Ali, the Cassius Clay uh, commentary go out and lead out to the end of the album, and then there's just silence. You just let them think about it. That's tough. I see that. That's what's up. All right. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go to the scorecard. Let's see how much we really liked. Best rapper alive. Fuck me, right? <laughs> Where's my verse at, my guy? <laughs> Alright, let's go. We are fans. We're fans, man. If you ain't pick up, that's my guy. I fuck with him. Target audience, yes. Yes, sir. Proper setting for this in the whip. I'm telling you, this is still this is still the joint you put on right before you get to the, you know what I mean? This is, <laughs> I want y'all to hear this. Uh, Ghostwriter, I ain't got nothing clever for y'all. Bars of lyrics. I, I like it, man. 22. 22 at 25. He snapped on this. He snapped on this joint. I like this. There was a lot. There was a lot of references. There's a lot to unpack here. If you look at, and, and it's telling of him as a person, too. If you look at the references, you know what I mean? He talked a lot in the interview. Plug about um, how he likes, like, uh, vocalist and shit like that and like he's not name dropping he wasn't out necessarily like out there name dropping rappers he's name dropping bruce springsteen he's name dropping bob dylan listen to the message listen to the content listen to the like people talk about things that influence them right 
listen to the other genres of music that he's pulling influence from and shit like that. This wasn't which which leads me me which leads me to believe at that point that hear me out on this, right? Maybe he is staying true to form in the like best rapper lab with competing with myself. Because if you are, are coming at everybody else, you're gonna name drop rappers and shit like that. You're going to name drop the individuals that you're better than. You're not going to be stepping outside of your genre and going out of your way. You know what I'm saying? It's like th there, there could be something there. That could be a reach. Let me know. You think that's a reach? Let me know. If you think that that is indicative of him being more introspective about his own styles and uh, or his own influences in music and shit like that, I think this could be like, yo... P dot to P dot. Let me step up. I'm better than I was yesterday. You know what I'm saying? That's why the rhyme scheme's a little bit more intricate than maybe it has be uh, has been. You know what I'm saying? I also like that this is definitely just rap. This is definitely just bars and shit like that. He, you know, he talks a lot about how the music affects him personally. You know what I'm saying? When he gets deep and he's talking about emotional stuff and his family and problems in his life and shit like that. It's good to hear him have fun. He sounds like he's smiling on this. I'm you're used to hearing him hurt. I'm used to hearing him with a crack in his voice. He ain't had no crack in his voice. He was just spitting crack. There's a difference, man. There's a difference. The delivery, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Uh, I'm going to give him a 22 again. I think he snapped on it. B selection, 15 out of 15. Sound quality mixing, 15 out of 15. Yo, his sound quality has been fucking on fire lately. Lost Diamonds and then this, like, mm, shit has been fantastic. Effectiveness, I am giving this a 10 out of 10. Here's why. Uh, even if you may not like the style that he's had on some other ones that have been critical of his rhymes before about how some of the, the rhyme schemes not ending and shit like that. I got like the worst heartburn killing me right now. Sorry. I think that this one is definitely more accessible. I think more people, a wider net, a broader audience are going to, uh, first time listeners hear that best rapper alive that braggadocious that uh you know i mean that energy that cockiness they're gonna hear that they're gonna gravitate to it i think it's gonna make them want to listen to more and then they'll find the deeper shit i think the people who may not have been in the pdot pre previous to this because of the same things that i've been critical of him see him tweak that and fix that how it's not present on this and if they catch wind of this they are gonna want to dig in a little bit more so that's dope i like that enjoyability uh eight 8 out of 10, super enjoyable under specific circumstances. Those circumstances are you're in a position that's not a playlist uh, to where the elongated sample on the end isn't going to affect you, where this is something that you've seeked out and you, you know, you're in a position where it's not going to take you out of your vibe. You dig me? 92 out of 100, that's my score. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Drop down in the comments below. Let's talk about it. As always, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all coming to hang out with me, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Ooh, where we at? Where we at? Where we at?